Flag. I'm Haley Jong. And I'm Jacob Corder. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, and we're here with your morning announcements. The CL Block Party will be tomorrow during lunch. Students with a 3.75 average GPA during the last two terms at CL are invited to attend. Check your school loop email for an invitation and get ready for some fall games, music, and pizza. It's that time of year again. Wolfpack CL's blood drive will be held Thursday, November 17th. This year, our goal is to hit a new record of 1,000 blood donors. Please consider donating blood if you are 16 or older and weigh over 110 pounds. Be sure to look around the MP room for the NHS blood drive table in order to sign up. Today and tomorrow are additions for Pack Savvy. Good luck to all of those trying out. Wolfpack Performing Arts returns for their fall show, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Let's take a sneak peek in what they have in store. Are we all met? I know I'm going to the show, are you? Yeah, but I'm in the show. If you would like to purchase tickets, they are $8 piece out and $10 at general admission at the door. There are VIP tickets available for $25, which includes primo seating, concession vouchers, the ability to skip the lines and get reserved, as well as other amazing, amazing goodies. Now let's pass on over to Kate and Mayori for your In the News update. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Kate O'Connor. And I'm Mayori Sanchez, and we're here with your bi-weekly news update. Although California is still in a minor drought, the state has improved greatly. Californians use 18% less water than usual in September than when the drought started. Californians, since the summer of 2015, have saved enough water to supply 10 of the 39 million citizens of California with water for a year. Stephen Moore, a water board member, stated, quote, Mandatory was a good thing. It was a good idea to get things going. And now, things are going. End quote. Politicians know it's not popular to raise taxes, so instead they are asking voters to approve Proposition 55, which extends tax increases on the wealthiest Californians. A yes on Prop 55 would increase state revenues from $4 billion to $9 billion each year, according to the Nonpartisan Legislative Analysis Office. The money would go directly to public schools and California's community colleges. Now let's hear a little bit about the mock election for Ms. Dietrich. Good morning. I'm here to talk to you about mock election, which we will hold on campus on November 8th which is the actual election day for 2016. However, there's way more to the, this election than just who you're going to vote for president of the United States. Although you will have the option to vote for president. Um, the four candidates that we were put, put on the ballot are Hillary Clinton, who is the Democratic candidate, Donald Trump, who is a Republican candidate, Jill Stein, who is the Green Party candidate, and Gary Johnson, who is a Libertarian candidate. I strongly encourage you guys to do some of your own research to make sure you um, are picking who you think is the best um, candidate uh, beyond just the sound bites that we are hearing in the media right now. Next up, you'll get to vote for Senator of California. Um, the current Democratic Senator Barbara Boxer is retiring, and so there are two women that are running for her spot. Both of them are actually Democrats, but it's Kamala Harris and Loretta Sanchez. Harris is currently the California Attorney General um, and is already endorsed by President Obama and the SAC B. Sanchez is currently the California 46th District Representative. Next up is the race for U.S. Uh, representative for the 7th District. Uh, this is a very tight race between the Democratic incumbent or current um, representative Ami Barrett and his opponent, who is the Republican Scott Jones, who is currently a Sacramento County um, Sheriff. Next up, you will vote on the California State Assembly, District 9, and your options are Jim Cooper, who is a Democrat and the incumbent um, and is local from Elk Grove. Um, the next one is Tim Gorskowski, who is a Republican candidate. Make sure you look into those candidates so you can pick who you think will be the, your best representative. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Wolfpack, I'm Mayori Sanchez. And I'm Kate O'Connor. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. anchors.
Are you interested in Dungeons and Dragons? Would you like to play or learn how to play? If you answered yes to any of the questions above, then go check out the Dungeons and Dragons Club. They have a meeting every Monday from 3.30 to 5 in HP6. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Johnson or Matthew Chavez on School Loop. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Jacob Quarter, And I'm Haley Jong. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy Dia de los, los Muertos! muertos. Approaching me, she said, I never seen a man who looks so all alone. Or could you use a little company? If you pay the right price, your evening will be nice, and you can go and send me on my way. I said, You're such a sweet young thing, why you do this to yourself? She looked at me, and this is what she said. Oh,